Hey everyone, let's talk about how you can really quickly transpose your MIDI using shortcuts in Pro Tools. So I have the session. I'm just gonna copy this and bring it over here so I don't mess up anything that's like within the session. And I'll use this to show you how this works. So here's the file. So just some simple chords, like really simple chords, right? But let's say I wanted to transpose just by one semitone. What you can do is go over here where it says clips. And if you don't see this, you might have your track really short. For example, you might not see the clips option. You just want to drag it out until you see that clips option. So right now I'm in the clips view. Yours might say something else, but you just want to click here, you know, no matter what it says and go to notes. And then what you can do is you can just highlight the notes you want to affect. So I'm going to do these three and then I'm gonna hit the up arrow on my keyboard. So I can hit up to go up one semitone or I can hit down to go down one semitone. And you can hear it kind of play each time I do it. So up and down arrow, that's just your regular up and down arrow on your keyboard. Those will transpose by one semitone each. So I can just go, if I wanna go up by five semitones, I just go one, two, three, four, five. Done, right? And you can do that for just one note, for example. If I just click on this one note, I can go up or down. You can do it for whole ranges of notes like I just did. You can highlight a whole chunk of notes and move them all up or down. It's whatever you want. I drag this out even more so we can see it a little better. Now let's say I want to transpose these up by one octave. You just hold shift and then you do the up or down arrows to go either up an octave or down an octave. So I'm holding shift, I'm gonna hit the up arrow and it goes up by one octave. So you'll notice here, let's look at this note here. So if I trace this over, I could just scroll, it'd be a lot easier. It looks like it's an A. I always have to turn my head to see it. So if I then hold shift and go down an octave, it should be an A one octave below. And it looks like it is, ta-da. So basically, the shift is a modifier key that makes it transpose by one octave instead of one semitone. Okay, and so this next shortcut is called transpose in key. And so all you have to do is hold control as a modifier. So that's control, it's not command. And I believe it's start if you're on a Windows machine. And then you do the up and down arrows like we've been doing with the other shortcuts. So you'll notice if I hold control and go up, it bounces it up. If I hold control and if I hold control and hit down, it bounces it down. And you'll notice as it moves that these notes are staying within my key. So if we look at the key for this session, it's set to C major. So I looked up here in the rulers. I have the key ruler displaying here. If you don't have it, you can open it up by just selecting it with this drop down. But I'm in C major, so that's really easy and simple to keep track of because C major is just all the white notes, right? So none of the black notes here on the piano roll. And you'll notice as I hold control and bounce up and down, it keeps them on only the white notes and it's changing these intervals sometimes. So you'll notice, especially if you focus on the distance between like the middle note and one of the other two notes, you'll see that it's actually changing. So it's keeping them within the key. It's changing the intervals of the actual chord a little bit so you don't have as much control, but it is keeping it within the key for you. So if you wanna make sure that everything stays within the key as you transpose, you can hold control or start if you're on Windows and it'll do that for you. So it's kind of handy that way. So see how they move as I as I go up and down. But that's just control and the up arrow or down arrow, depending on what you want to do. And one more thing that's kind of interesting, if you go to event and then event operations, I don't know how interesting this actually is, but the transpose window, you can actually do a lot of these functions here on this window. So you'll notice that transpose in key function, the control and then up and down arrows, you can do it here on this window. And you can be more specific about how many scale steps you want to go up or down. So you can use these functions in slightly different ways even within this window. You can access them here. For example, if you want to go by one semitone, you can do it here. Might have to type it to get it right. Or if you want to transpose by an octave, you can also do that here. So you can access these functions that I just showed you the shortcuts for using this window as well if you want to. So if I were to, for example, go by two octaves, I'm gonna set this to zero. I can then hit apply and it jumps those notes that I've highlighted. So it's very similar to the shortcuts, but I'm just gonna close that for now.
And that's basically it. Those are some transposing MIDI shortcuts for Pro Tools. I hope someone out there found that helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon if you want to check it out. It's patreon.com slash Noise. We're all hanging out on a Discord server. We have a book club that we're doing. I have additional content that I post occasionally on there. It's been a lot of fun. So feel free to check that out if you feel so inclined. It helps support my channel. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. I'm thinking about getting a banjo lily that I saw at Nam. It's probably not that expensive. Someone needs to tell me not to cuz I'm I'm going to do it eventually. I played it for like 5 seconds and now I I've been thinking about it and it's a lot of fun and I think I want to get it. But I'm going to wait. I'm about to start grad school. I shouldn't be spending money. I'm going to wait. I'll have to wait. But if I'm still thinking about it in like a couple months, I'm probably going to get it. Should I get it? Banjo lilies are kind of fun. I think that is it. And my voice is going. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go rest. I think. Oh, what did you all see at Nam that you liked? Let me know. I kind of want to know what you liked. Okay, bye.